Top 10 Best Places to Visit in Switzerland Switzerland may be small, but it has a whole host of great places to visit. From breathtaking mountain peaks to dreamy turquoise lakes and a countryside littered with ancient wonders, Switzerland really does have something for everyone. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we'll talk about the best places to visit in Switzerland. Be sure to like and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. So, let's get going. Number 10. Rhine Falls As Europe's most powerful waterfall, it's easy to see why Rhine Falls is one of the top things to do in Switzerland. Visitors can take in the beauty of the waterfall, located near the northern town of Schaffhausen, from several viewing decks. If you're feeling more adventurous, you can even rent a canoe and check out some nearby castles from the water. Every August, the falls host a spectacular firework display that attracts visitors from around the country as part of Switzerland's National Day celebrations. If you have your own vehicle, it's easy to drive to the falls. For Rhine Falls parking, you'll find a car park on each side of the river. The Northern Bank Schlossli Worth Park costs 5 francs for the first hour and 2 francs for each additional hour, while the Southern Bank Laufen Castle provides free parking. For visitors in wheelchairs, it's recommended that you park in the Northern Bank car park as you can park right by the basin, and here you will find both a wheelchair lift and a ramp leading to the boat landing. There is also a lift at the Schloss Laufen and Rheinfall viewing platform. If you're spending a few days in Zurich, there are a few options when it comes to how to reach Rhine Falls from Zurich. It's only around 40 minutes by car from Zurich, Rhine Falls, or from Zurich to Rhine Falls by train, it's about one hour. Number 9. Schweizerischer National Park In a century with amazing scenery at every turn, it can be hard to know where to go. But one thing for certain is that you'll want to visit the Swiss National Park near Zernez. As the country's only national park, it'll give you an idea of how the Alps were before tourism. From snow-crusted glaciers to captivating meadows, this place has it all. There are plenty of hiking trails to choose from, each taking visitors past unforgettable sights. And if you're lucky, you might catch sight of some of the park's local residents. Red squirrels, ibexes, and red deer all call this park home. Number 8. Jungfrau Jock It is said that the Jungfrau Jock travel experience begins from the minute you step into the cogwheel train and begin the ascent of 3,000 meters. The Jungfrau Jock is technically a glacier saddle between two mountains and is one of the best and highest attractions in Switzerland. Don't let the altitude put you off. There's plenty for the whole family up there, from mountain climbing to tobogganing and more. The Jungfrau Jock train is called Jungfrau Bahn, carries passengers to the top of Europe, and along with offering a very smooth and comfortable ride. During the ride up to Jungfrau Jock, the train enters a long tunnel through the mountains. It stops twice on the way up the tunnel, once in Eger Wand, 2,685 meters, and then at Eismere, 3,010 meters, where everyone gets out to take photos through picture windows. You can get off from the train before continuing to the top. It'll be stopped for only five minutes and prepared to rush. The last ascent in the tunnel is very steep at a 25 degree angle. Number 7. Lake Lugano Lake Lugano lies on the Swiss-Italian border in Ticino, Switzerland's only official Italian-speaking canton, and offers a tantalizing taste of the Mediterranean. Palms, citrus, figs, and pomegranates flourish in the mild climate here, even as snow-capped peaks beckon in the distance. In the towns around Lake Lugano and Lake Magor to the west, the feel of Italy is unmistakable in the architecture, the piazzas, and the passion for fine food, which spills over the Italian borders from the south, east, and west. Visitors can explore the area by touring the lake on one of the white steamers or renting a boat. For a panoramic view, Monte San Salvatore offers one of the most spectacular vistas of the surrounding countryside, lake, and snow-capped peaks. 
Lugano, a financial center and the largest and most significant town in Ticino, is a popular summer resort. Number 6. Bern In a stunning location perched on a peninsula of the River Aar, the Swiss capital of Bern exudes old-world charm. And the city's medieval old town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Strolling along the cobbled streets, visitors can explore the tallest cathedral in Switzerland. With panoramic views from its tower, 16th-century fountains, the Zeitglagog medieval clock tower with moving puppets, and six kilometers of shopping arcades, called Lauben by the locals. The Rose Garden offers beautiful views of the old town center. Bern has many tourist attractions waiting to be discovered, including excellent museums. Art lovers will appreciate the impressive galleries, including the Zentrum Paul Klee, the world's largest collection of works by this famous artist, and the Bern Museum of Art. Number 5. Lucerne Imagine a sparkling blue lake surrounded by mountains, a car-free medieval old town, waterfront promenades, covered bridges, frescoed historic buildings, and sun-splashed plazas with bubbling fountains. No wonder Lucerne is a top spot for tourists. Famed for its music concerts, this quintessential Swiss town lures renowned soloists, conductors, and orchestras to its annual international music festival. The Culture and Convention Center is home to one of the world's leading concert halls. One of the city's most famous landmarks is the Chapel Bridge, built in the 14th century. In a small park lies the famous Lion Monument, a poignant sculpture of a dying lion, which honors the heroic death of Swiss guards during the attack on the Tuileries in the French Revolution. History buffs will enjoy the Swiss Transport Museum with extensive exhibits in all forms of transport, including air and space travel, railroad locomotives, and a planetarium. Number 4. Zurich Zurich is Switzerland's largest city, a major transportation hub, and a top starting point for travelers. The city lies at the northwestern end of Lake Zurich astride the River Lamat. Beyond its buttoned-up facade, this affluent banking capital boasts a rich lineup of cultural treasures. A great place to begin a walking tour is the cobbled streets of the old town with its quaint shops, cafes, and galleries. Mile-long Bahnhofstrasse, one of Europe's finest shopping strands, beckons with designer stores selling fashion, jewelry, and watches. Another best spot is the Rittberg Museum, focusing on non-European art with many works from China, India, and Africa. For families, there is a Zurich Zoo with a penguin parade, an elephant park, and a Madagascar pavilion. If you're looking for panoramic views of the city and countryside, then take a train ride from the city to Utlichberg Mountain. Number 3. Zermatt Zermatt is famous for its magnificent long ski runs with terrain for all skill levels, but it also offers outdoor sports for other seasons. There's a mountain trail for cyclists from the Winkelmatten up to the Fury, and the Zermatt Alpen Center offers expert guides for climbers year-round. Hotels, fine restaurants, and luxury spas abound in Zermatt. But in summer or winter, it's the mountains that are still the prime tourist attraction. Without the sharp pyramid of the Matterhorn rising in a dramatic backdrop, Zermatt would be another pretty little Swiss village instead of a world-famous symbol of the Alps and of Switzerland itself. Along with making Zermatt the Swiss poster child, the mountain defines the town and gives it a year-round appeal that no other ski resort can match. Number 2. Chateau de Chalon No trip to the Swiss Riviera is complete without checking out the medieval Chateau de Chalon. Located on an island in Lake Geneva near the popular town of Montreux, the castle dates back to the 10th century, when it was used as a strategic water fort. It then became a lakeside summer home for the wealthy Counts of Savoy. When the castle rooms were decked out with all manner of art and treasure visitors can enjoy today. The castle is Switzerland's most visited historical monument, 
and is definitely a must-see while you're exploring the country. Number 1. The Matterhorn This pyramid-shaped giant is one of the world's most photographed mountains, which means it's definitely a top place to visit in Switzerland. Standing at an impressive 4,478 meters, thrill-seeking mountaineers from around the globe descend on Switzerland to attempt the summit. If you're not feeling quite so energetic, why not stick to the cable car? The mountain is home to the highest cable car station in the Alps, which offers some excellent views of the mountain peak and beyond. It really doesn't get much more Swiss than a trip up to the Matterhorn. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any travel updates.